Hi, it's David here from DP Computing. It's been a while, but I'm back with another teardown. I've just been busy with a few other things, but I probably won't be having as many teardowns and things going into the future, but here we go. Anyway, today we've got a Dell. Uh, it's a Dell Inspiron. Just bear with me a second. Inspiron 17R SE7720. I just need to get into the hard drives and image a couple of the hard drives, so I'll just show you how to do that. Now, as always, proceed at your own risk. Um, please take anti-static precautions. And if you see anything that's different um, here than what you see on screen, please um, consult a professional. Now, I'm just getting my, um, my anti-static wristband. Just pop that on. Now, first thing you have to do is make sure the power, which is here, just here, is disconnected and remove the battery, which is here. To remove the battery, there's two little um, clips, just slide them towards the outside of the unit and then pull the battery actually up, okay? And there we have the battery. Um, see if we can get focus on there, not really. I'll just tell you the model number. It's a Dell 48 Watt one, which is a Type 8858X. Um, it's a lithium ion battery. So there we are. There's the battery, I'll just put that to one side. And now we have to get out um, the panel here. So it's just two screws, one there and one there. They're both Phillips head. So these screws don't come out all the way. So just unscrew until you can hear a slight clicking. And then you can just remove the back panel. And here you can see we've got two hard drives, a memory, this has got two DIMMs in, the um, wireless card, and then there's a micro SATA slot there. Now what I'm going to do is just show you how to remove the memory. The memory's got two um, silver clips on either side, just push them outwards, the memory will pop up, and we can then just pull it out. Um, there's the memory there. This one is a 4 gig SIM, um, and it's a Hynix memory, HMT351S6CFR8C-PB. So to put it back in, just make sure there's a little slot there, just make sure that's lined up, just push it in and then push it down until you hear it click and that's your memory. So the hard drives, this one is held in by four screws and it's in a little caddy. This one's got four screws but they're on the top and bottom of the hard drive and this they're on the sides. With this unit it all depends as well on your BIOS and how it's set up. This is the main hard drive and this is the secondary drive. Yours should be the same but as I said if you've got any changes in your BIOS they may be swapped around. Now as I said, to remove the hard drives, there's four screws. Just remove those. So if you want, you can upgrade this unit to a SSD drive. So you can put a micro SATA SSD drive in there or just a standard size two and a half inch in one of these bays. Now just put the screws to one side. So just, there we have it, it's in a little caddy, so the caddy's held in by another four screws. These screws are, are slightly different to the other screws. We removed these are short and stubby, to just remember those ones go for the caddy and the longer black screws go in the holdings into the actual unit itself. Now once we remove these four screws we can remove the hard drive from the caddy which you can then uh, use to replace the hard drive. So there you go and the hard drive just removes like that. So there we are, there's that little caddy there. I'll just remove this one just to show you, but it's a very similar type uh, method. Just remove the four screws that are holding it into the actual laptop itself. Uh, 
I suppose there's one slight little difference here, there's nothing to be too concerned about, is this has got a little holder which you can use to pull back the hard drive and then pull it out. Yeah, it's a bit tricky because there's a little thing there. And yes, I have removed all the screws. So just move it up, try and get the back out. And there we are. And that again is held in by a little caddy, which is four screws. So just remove those four screws and remove the hard drive. Anyway, there you go. I won't bore you with removing this hard drive from the caddy. I'll just leave it there. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments field before, below. But please subscribe to our channel and check out our other uh, teardowns. We've also got some a uh, good Windows 10 tutorial. So if you're thinking about grading to Windows 10, please check that out. And also check out our YouTube channel. Thanks again. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.